All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here on the review table, and man, I've got something absolutely cool here. This is the Browning Buckmark 22 caliber semi automatic pistol. Quality since 1878. Now, the cool thing about this is that this was manufactured in the USA, made in the USA, but distributed in Canada by Browning Sports Limited, St. Laurent, Quebec. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out what the deal is with this guy, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't been able to figure it out. I paid, it says $2.99 there, but I actually paid like $2.59. My boy's down there at the good folks at Point Blank Range down in Matthews, North Carolina. Go down there, I asked for my buddy Daniel, or Lee, or Joe, or a couple of other people. Anyway, they're all really cool. Uh, in any case, let's take a look at this thing. I have gotten into the 22 semi-automatic pistols. It's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know why, but I've got the, uh, well, let's just say this. In a couple of weeks, you're going to see some really cool videos coming out based on this. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to take this out and shoot it, but why don't we just go ahead and open the box because it really is cool. Now, it did come with two additional magazines to what I have now, but look at that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is called the uh, Buckmark 22 pistol. This is their hunter or the camper style in gold. Now, I have looked all over the place, and I have only been able to find one other pistol like this. Uh, and then what I see right there is it is missing the mag hold slide thingy. I'm going to have to probably find another one of those. I didn't notice that until now. Get it under good light. But that's it. Uh, it does come with a 10-round magazine. And more or less, this is kind of a show-off deal. Uh, but I will tell you this. What a really cool deal. It has a uh, manual here. And like I said, I have tried to uh, find this thing online, but I can't find it anywhere, uh, especially on Browning's website. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to do a look up on it, and I'll show you guys all about it. But in any case, this is a really, really cool pistol. It's got some marks on it, but not bad. But if you look at it, Let's go ahead. I've cleared it a hundred times, but I will tell you this. The spring in that bad boy is nice. Uh, like glass. Really is. If you look at that. Oops. Does come with a gold trigger. Really nice. You can lock it back. There you go. And I don't know if I've lost that or it came out. I don't know. We'll have to get a replacement for it. I don't remember that being like that. Uh, huh. Hold on one second. I don't know. All right, so let's take a look at this. you got the slide. You've got a 10-round magazine. This guy is uh, gold in the front and the rear. It does come with a traditional gold trigger on it. Uh, the way you take it apart is you go ahead and you pull this uh, screw out here and here, remove this, and the slide and everything pulls out. I'm not going to do that right now because this is just more of a show-off type thing. Just to illustrate how what a cool pistol this is, go ahead and pop that down. The trigger pull is one of the most impressive parts on this thing. It is a very crisp trigger pull. Let's see here. There we go. Two pounds, 7.8 ounces. Look at that. But here's the neat part. Go ahead and do that. Here's the reset. Watch this. Wow. And just as crisp as it can get. Uh, the only downfall, i got to be honest with you, uh, that spring, either I'm a pansy uh, in my old age, but you really got to get a hold in here and or down here to get that slide to come back. And once you shoot it, that spring, she's a doozy. Well, it's not that bad. Uh, it does come with this particular model, does come with the fiber optic front sights and adjustable for windage and elevation on the rear. They are marked right here. Beautiful little browning symbol right there. John Moses Browning, what a wonderful guy he was. Uh, gr rubber grips, this particular model does. Got a heavy profile barrel, as you can see right there. Um, 22 long rifle, buck mark, made in the USA. And in Montreal, PQ, Canada. Pretty neat, but uh, ejection button right there for the mag release. That's neat. No hold open on the last round, I guess. Really bad. I love this thing. Well, there you go. She held open there. I'm not sure what that is right there. It looks like a magazine disconnect. If that's the case, it's not working too good. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Real short video on this bad boy. 
I am really liking this pistol. It is gorgeous all the way around. Pretty decent shape. Uh, but yeah, for 250 bucks, I don't think that was a bad deal. But uh, visit the guys down there at Point Blank Range in Matthews, North Carolina, if you get a chance. Great folks. Uh, they do have ammo in stock. Uh, and it's, it is the uh, market rate for the ammo. With that being said, I guess I'm going to have to get me another one of those because it's the first time I noticed that's gone. It's Cowboy 32. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Look at that thing. Isn't it beautiful? I'm out of here. Y'all be good.